I'd like to have Mike King come up here to, to give the first special award today, and it's the Good Samaritan Award. Okay, what a great day. Isn't this an awesome day? You, you know, the one phrase, yeah, yeah, go for it, go for it. The, the one phrase you will not hear during this event is, hold your applause. You know, you, you will never hear that during this event. I don't care how long it goes. You applaud as much as you want. That is awesome. You betcha. You betcha. The Good Samaritan Award is given in honor of those individuals, organizations, or programs committed to supporting Volunteers of America's Ministry of Service. Awardees have demonstrated acts of compassion and generosity, reaching and uplifting those in need, reflecting the selfless acts found in the treasured Bible parable of the Good Samaritan. Good Samaritan awardees are recognized for their generous giving of resources, time, energy, and or monetary support to the betterment of their neighbors, regardless of race, gender, creed, income, social status, or any other differences. This year is a special year for this award for us. We're going to honor a person who has literally given his personal time, as well as the resources and time of his business, to make sure that we can build a brand for Volunteers of America. Every piece of work that you've seen go public and be seen by the public in the last five years is because of the person that wins this year's Good Samaritan Award, Mr. Stan Richards of the Richards Group. Don't stand. I said, stand here for just a second because I want to talk about you for a second. <laughs> this, this is a very special person, uh, and it is just a gift. You know, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good as far as whose paths you cross, you know. And in a, in a previous lifetime, when I was in the United Way world, the major ad agencies of Dallas took turns being the ad agency for United Way and doing our annual campaign material every year. Uh, and, and, and once upon a time, I was in charge of the marketing communications for that. And so it was my job to go work with each of these ad agencies. But there was one group and one person that I kept wanting to go back to faster than, this, than the rotation was supposed to allow, okay? And that, of course, was Stan Richards and the Richards Group. And it wasn't only because of the outstanding critical work that they did. They did amazing work. But number one, every time I faced a critical circumstance, that's where I wanted to go. Well, the most critical circumstance in United Way history, then or now, was the big controversy in 1992. In fact, February 13th, 1992, the day that the story hit the Washington Post. That was, that was the biggest controversy in United Way history. Who did we call? Who did I call to say, we need something really special this year? And it was Stan Richards. Ever since then, he probably gets tired of me calling him. Because literally, since 1992, you know, every time I change jobs, every time I go to a different place, and we have a dramatic challenge, and that same thing occurred about six years ago when getting right about a couple of months before this conference would, would, would happen, I went to Stan's office and said, I want to tell you a story about this organization called Volunteers of America. And it was a new story for Stan. And at the same time, he was the perfect person to hear that story because of his deep involvement that I was aware of with the Salvation Army in a group that has our same kind of mission and our same kind of situation to go forward. Well, it would have been real easy for Stan to say, you know what, I can't do that because I'm already doing it with the Army, da 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 da, da. Instead, he went to the Army to say, if we do branding here and campaign here, will that be okay with you guys? He didn't make me go. He went to the Army and did that. Went the extra mile, and then when we began meeting and looking at the creative and to discuss the creative, Stan personally, and I've never seen this happen, Stan personally engaged himself in our brand awareness process when we brought together 25 folks from around the country to their offices and helped us write the early work that we did. And I got to tell you, to be in that room, whenever Stan uttered a sentence, it was like gold. It was like, this is why he's Stan Richards. You know, this is why, you know, when you would hear him say things, that, that was perfect. That was absolutely perfect. And that's the way it went. And so today, 
Whereas when we first went into his office, when we would stop in a hotel lobby and ask folks, how many of you have ever heard of Volunteers of America? About one in four would say yes. Today, it's 40%. In just a few short years. And just that's, that, that's, that's incredible. Because it has been a bare budget. It has been a tiny budget. We didn't buy our way into it. Literally everything we've done, he's helped us do. And in addition to that, and, and this is just a purely, if you'll forgive me, one personal comment. While in those roles with United Way, when we wrote a campaign, I worked with every CEO in the city of all the Fortune 500 companies. Uh, and that includes Frito-Lay, JCPenney, American Airlines, uh, Texas Instruments, uh, the best CEOs in the world. The CEO that I patterned my management style after was Stan Richards. He was easily the most authentic, the most effective, uh, the most compassionate CEO I had ever, ever had ever crossed paths with. Uh, and that still stands true today. So Stan, no one is more deserving of this than you. No one. Thank you, Mike, and, and thanks to all of you. There's no way I can live up to that introduction. Uh, I've known Mike for many years, and when he came to me and asked for the agency's help in developing a unifying messages uh, for Volunteers of America, I said, absolutely, without any hesitation. I'm delighted uh, and honored to be with you today. But the irony of receiving this award is not lost on me. I'm receiving the Good Samaritan Award in a room that's absolutely full of Good Samaritans. <laughs> and I'm truly impressed with your dedication uh, to helping America's most vulnerable, uh, <clears throat> with your passion for uplifting lives around you, and for the humility uh, that you show as you go about changing the world. I'm, think I'm thankful that, uh, that you've embraced me and uh, the Richards Group, uh, the team that works uh, uh, with uh, Volunteers of America. Uh, <clears throat> it's an honor, and we thank you for giving us the great privilege to be stewards of your brand. Some of you might remember me uh, sharing the brand promise uh, five years ago at the National Conference in Tampa. I also shared a piece that we felt captured the soul of the Volunteers of America brand. It's intended for an internal audience, uh, and it is a lot less strategy than it is uh, spirit. For those of you who haven't heard it, I thought I would share it now. We are Volunteers of America, and we are the first to step forward, taking on the most crushing problems, the dire, the hopeless, the untouchable, and we make a difference. Because we not only perceive the burdens of others, we know firsthand what it means to make them lighter. This is why we do what we do. Our story is long and rich and widely unknown. But we are not chasing fame or glory. Our lives are meant for service, for lifting up the brokenhearted, for finding the lost, for reaching out with mercy and compassion to those who thought they were beyond reach. For uplifting all our lives, this is why we do what we do. Every day, we see our brothers and sisters lying beaten and bruised on their own roads to Jericho. We act because we're trained, we're impassioned, we're honored. This is why we do what we do. Like our great exemplar, we go among the unclean, the broken, the forgotten, and the outcast. And we use our lives to make theirs better. This is why we do what we do. We are volunteers of America. To be honored today is humbling. I will always treasure this moment. But more importantly, I will treasure every moment I get to play some very small part in this mission to help America's most vulnerable. Thank you very, very much.